What's up, movie crew? It's that time of the week where I show you everything I picked up. But before I get started, if you are new to this channel, my name is Luke, this is Let's Watch a Movie, and if you're anything cinema and physical media related, you've come to the right place, so hit that subscribe button. Also, for hitting that subscribe button, I have a five steelbook giveaway coming up. So if you're subscribed, you'll know when that is coming up and you can get yourself five steel books. All right. I didn't pick up a lot this past week just because kind of working on some other stuff at the moment, but I think I managed to pick up a couple of good things here. All right, so the first thing, I've actually already done an unboxing video for this, but I have had some people ask about this, so I wanna go in and show it off again. And that is The Boys Season 3. Now, I had a couple of people message me asking why I did an unboxing for a bootleg. This is not a bootleg. This is a four-year consideration screener that Amazon sends out to the people that vote for the Emmys, the SAG Awards, the Golden Globes, so on and so forth. And this was the screener that got sent out to someone, and I managed to get it on eBay. It does have all eight episodes of the season three. And to my knowledge, I think season three is available internationally. It is not available in the States yet. But to those that are like myself that like physical media, quite a few of the people that get screeners for awards and stuff tend to sell them on eBay. So just check eBay and you might be able to find a copy. So there's that. And part of the little press packet that came with the screener was the Sin Magazine. This is a little something that you see in the boys. However, in this case, when you open it up, it shows off some of the stuff, some of the behind the scenes stuff, some interviews with cast members, so on and so forth. But no, I did not buy a bootleg copy. I'm just going to be straight up with everyone. If I were to buy a bootleg, I'm not going to be showing it off on the channel. Simple as that. All right. So this next one is actually three movies. I got the Target exclusive slipcovers to John Wick. So there is chapter one. Chapter two. And chapter three. All right. I've already shown off before that I love this franchise. I saw chapter four in theaters not too long ago. Loved it. So the main reason behind getting the trilogy again, because this is like the fourth or fifth time I bought it, is that it's recently, some of the stuff has been leaked about the physical release for Chapter 4. And Target's going to have a slipcover to match this particular set. So I was like, all right, I'm going ahead and buy these three so that I can have the matching slipcover for Chapter 4 when it comes out. So... Yeah, I kind of had to get that. And finally, this one I also got off of eBay. And yeah, I probably could have bought it in stores. I know a couple places that have it. However, they don't have the slipcover. And the seller had a high feedback rate. When it snowed in the area where the seller lived, I got a message the next day after I bought it saying, hey, I was going to ship it out today. It's snowing. I apologize. But since it's Friday, I won't be able to ship it till Monday. I get that. Stuff happens. I know that myself just from shipping stuff and having sold stuff on eBay myself. But I picked up 
Star Wars, The Clone Wars, The Lost Missions, a.k.a. Season 6. So I showed in two different haul videos that I was able to get my hands on the first four seasons at a local area near where I live for not that much, given that seasons one through five are out of print. This I paid $15 for, like I said, with a slip. And the other thing that surprised me, let me take that out because I haven't checked to see if that works yet, is that everyone knows Disney's not really a huge proponent of physical media. So I was a little surprised to open it up and see that it does indeed have disc artwork. And hopefully in the near future, I will be showing off season five finally in a weekly haul video or something of the sorts because I may or may not have it coming in the mail soon. So keep that in mind. So yes, this is everything that I have picked up technically over the last two weeks. So we got another slipcover edition of the John Wick Trilogy, some Star Wars, and The Boys Season 3. And again, I do want to reiterate, not a bootleg. But that is everything I picked up this week. And as always, if you are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. You like what you see, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below. What have you picked up in the past week or two? Did you also get some John Wick stuff? Anyone else here like myself get the occasional screener off of eBay? And May the 4th is coming up. Anyone getting ready for some Star Wars stuff? But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching and tune in next time.